Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Vito, good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. Well, why? So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dope with the tongs. He knew this was off limits, and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. He keeps his ear to the ground. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his ear to the ground. Was he here today? Ah, no, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he knew himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Fate bene, Vito. Freeze, and maybe I won't kill you. Hi, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. It's nice to see you, too. Don't move a muscle. Come on. Listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry. It's got a hell of a view. Shit. Ah. Uh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. Well, can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I wanna hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem. Because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad.
Finally. We don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right. We'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out. I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Filthy fuck! Come on! Come on, you fuck! Come here! There should be the way out. Get your ass over here, Vito! Let's get you fucked me up pretty good. Okay. Let's get you Think over I El Greco. A doctor. Vito, they fucked me up pretty good. <laughs> Make it. What do you want me to do with the money? Take it to Bruno. All right. At least that'll be out of the way. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked at... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of your uh, guys is already here. Uh, Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to uh, walk oh, again. What? Huh. This surprises you? All the blood. Uh, all the death. Oh, oh, this is the oh, lifestyle you choose. Uh, uh, One day your luck is bound to run out. The next time, it could be you. And off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes, but you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right, come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito. Thanks. Sure thing. Feel better. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attacked them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Ah, uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once. But I must say, 
You're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> your father. Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. <laughs> sure. 